My dad were a miner, and my granddad were a miner, so uh, I'm very lucky to be a poet, and I wrote this on the day that Kenley Colliery closed in, in December, the last deep coal mine in Britain. And it's dedicated to the Orgreave Truth and Justice campaign. God bless him. Fucking... See, if, it, if it's a shit poem, I've already got a clap out of it, so it's fine. Every day as usual, before the birds had cleared their throats, he'd wake in a room dark as most ever see, and creak to the kitchen, four sugars in his pint of tea. The deputy does not carry coal, but a burden just as heavy. Is to head in first with his lamp and his nerve and satisfy his judgment that without a single doubt to shirk, the pit is fit for lads to work. Only in those last days, he need only be half awake as he trudged down the well-worn path with a frame of a colliery emerging as a silhouette. No need to check the mine, he couldn't get past the picket, but still he'd have to phone his gaffer, reporting in for vacant duty, day in, day out, day in, day out, just as usual. Lads he loved like brothers, after years of risking life and limb, united on the picket line where chance of work was less than slim. It's to stand there and watch them, either broken or breaking or stone cold silent. And they sent up all these coppers, shipped in from elsewhere, Nottingham or London or somewhere else irrelevant. And I could only watch in disgust as they taunted the picketing miners, wafting notes that floated on laughter as though they were taunting a caged up animal. As though they were taunting a caged up animal. For my granddad, George, it were on that day that the mines closed forever. This was no longer the industry that our family could invest our lives in. Communities and livelihoods being torn apart before his eyes by those employed to serve and protect us. It's a sad day for the region. It's a sad day for the industry. It's a sad day for the country. It's a sad day. Kenley Lee Colliery, 1965 to 2015.